guys. Tyler from Meeple Mountain here with another amazing game that we'd like to walk you guys through. Our friends at PDU Games sent us a prototype of Syndicate, their game that is on Kickstarter now and is well on its way to funding. We wanted to walk you through our reactions to this game and show you some of the amazing components uh, and contents that PDU has built into this awesome trading 4X uh, style game set in the dark, distant future. Uh, we're very excited to walk you through this. Uh, we actually have a full written review of the game as well that you can check out here. And we'll uh, be happy to show you all of our thoughts on this awesome title. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at some of the amazing components and talk about my reactions to uh, just the wonderful strategy and depth that has been built into this game. I think you guys are really going to like what you see. Syndicate has some amazing layered components that put you at the driver's seat of an asymmetric syndicate working to collect the most sovereign credits. The way that you go about this is entirely unique to your decisions, but at the end of the day, what you want is credits. You're going to be working to expand your syndicate across the, the known galaxy by establishing bases. You'll be working to build various bases throughout the galaxy. These bases will provide residual income bonuses and allow you to get your engines started, gain more resources, and begin to take on greater and greater feats and challenges. As you advance your tech level tree, you'll be able to get advanced tech. These tech will act as passives that will continue to add to the asymmetry that your faction possesses. Having technology can be the difference between victory and defeat in Syndicate. Operations cards will give you an edge over your competition. They come in two forms. One is missions that you'll work to complete throughout the galaxy, rolling dice, uh, attempting to have a successful mission to gain the printed resources. There's some great social deduction kind of hidden agenda information things that come into play with missions where you can choose to uh, make friends by splitting the mission bonuses with those that may already have an established foothold in that location to cut the difficulty of that mission. Or maybe you want to be greedy and keep all of those resources for yourself. There's a lot more than just the printed rewards that can be gained from successful missions. The other type of operations card is a sleeper card. Sleeper cards are secret, and they go face down in your syndicate. They're traps, effectively, that are going to be sprung when your opponent least suspects them. It's always good to have a sleeper card ready, just in case. Last, we have Sovereign Cards. Sovereign Cards are what allow the Sovereign Destroyer, the oppressive regime um, in the universe of Syndicate, to kind of move and interact. Overall, they're going to work to make your life uh, more difficult, uh, make it more challenging. This also acts as a timer in the game because somewhere in this deck of cards there is a beginning of the end card. We don't know exactly where it's at, but it's somewhere between the fifth and seventh round of the game. And somewhere that card will come up and let you know that you have one additional round. So this variable uh, game length element adds a lot of strategy and depth because you don't want to plan on an eight round game if you're only getting six. And you don't want to plan on a short game if you're getting eight. It adds a little bit of suspense and a little bit of strategy to how you build. One of the things that I really love about Syndicate is the assault system. It's very streamlined, it's very simple, but it's very effective. Not only for gaining new territory, but for scaring your opponents. It's a threat, uh, so to speak, the carrot and the stick metaphor. If you have a researched assault levels, what you can do is perhaps say this pesky blue player. He has this really nice base on Kronos that I want. Well. I don't have to be upset about it, I can just take it. All I'll need to do is use the assault ship and I can assault that base. I can allocate resources to it from my crew. I can use reinforcements as well from my assault level. And then with a lucky roll of the dice, that base can be mine. Now, bases are more difficult to take if they're fortified. Fortified bases have extra defense uh, and make it safer for you to trust that that base will remain in your hands. But bases are always vulnerable to assault, and it adds a wonderful layer of strategy uh, because you have these resources, but they're not guaranteed resources, and you'll want to work to shore up your defenses, make sure you have maybe a sleeper card prepared to protect yourself. 
But most of all, assault, the threat of an assault, can be a wonderful negotiating tool that opens up a lot of wonderful dialogue in Syndicate. Just the threat that I may try to take your base allows some really great trading and negotiation to happen. Well, I, I, maybe Blue doesn't want me to take this base, so instead of me wasting all this crew and risking all these die rolls and things, maybe Blue says, hey, how would you like five credits to just leave my base alone this turn? Hmm, that's a good offer. Maybe I'll take him up on it. These are the kind of choices and options available to you in Syndicate. And I think they add to the charm, the intricacy, and the depth of strategy that comes into this game. Now, with all your assaults, all of your missions, and all of these things going on, someone's going to take notice, and that someone is the Sovereign. The Sovereign at first won't really pay you any mind. You're just another person making some noise, a little unhappy about how things are going in the, in the galaxy at large. But as you continue to make noise and accomplish missions and smuggle in contraband, eventually the Sovereign's going to take notice of you and they're going to move to shut you down aggressively. One of the ways that they can do this is if a mission has failed on a planet. Uh, uh, so say I wanted to fail it. Someone failed a mission here on Kronos where I just got this wonderful new base from the blue player. Well, maybe the blue player is a little mad, and he goes and intentionally fails a mission. No matter who fails the mission, the Sovereign Destroyer may descend and initiate a blockade on that base. They'll cut off all the supplies and resources. So there goes all my hard work to get that base, and now I get nothing from having that base. Uh, so it can be a very interesting tactic to manipulate the Sovereign, to get them where you want them to go, to maybe hurt your opponents, to shut them down. Uh, the Sovereign will play a powerful role, especially as the game advances, and who has the most political influence to shirk off their constraints. Uh, but a well-placed Sovereign Destroyer blockade can definitely mess up your plans for income in the coming round. And that is Syndicate in a nutshell. There's a lot of amazing components to this game, but what I love is that it's incredibly simple to teach. Uh, get credits. That's the main reason or, or a rhyme of this game is get rich, find credits, figure out how to do it. But what I love is that there's so many avenues to this. You can build bases and fortify and tank up. You can just run missions. You can even rob uh, your wealthy opponents of their credits. There's a thousand ways that you can go about this from being an incredibly offensive uh, assault ship based faction where you just keep robbing people and taking their bases and swindling them of their hard work. Or you could be a very tech-oriented faction and just continue to find the best advanced tech that you can and really up your skills and your passives that way. Or build a really great engine and collect all of these resources. Or perhaps be a very politically-minded faction and just completely negate what the Sovereign is doing on the board and manipulate them to serve your, your own will. There's a lot of really neat options that you have in the game, and I like that. I like that there is one victory condition, uh, but there's many paths to get there. And I think that that showcases the creativity and the ingenuity that the team at PDU Games has brought to this. Um, again, I mentioned this in my written review, but this you can tell this is a labor of love in the sense that there is just a lot of depth and lore packed into this game. And I think that that is uh, just an incredibly great testament to the care and does, that has went into the design of this game. All of the factions are very different and asymmetric. You'll find different nuances and variants as you play, which I really appreciate and enjoy. Um, it, it's just a really well-crafted game, truly. One of the things that I will mention that I love is that this is an open trading game. And what I mean by that is that you can trade anything. Promises of alliances, credits, resources, cards, anything at any time, except when it's your turn, which is doubly fun because that really cuts into player downtime. One of the things with many big 4X games is during your not turn, uh, there's a long amount of player downtime while you wait and wait and wait for someone to take their turn. That's not the case in Syndicate. You can always be wheeling and dealing and trying to advance your agenda while it's another player's turn. 
the other great thing about this is when it is your turn, you feel the pressure of one, you've been cut off from negotiations, and two, the longer you take, the longer you've given your opponents to optimize their turn. So it almost acts as this very kind, gracious turn encourager for speed. And I find that it really helps move things along and help people uh, play the game at a great pace uh, that you'll really enjoy. Uh, this is a game that you'll want to get to the table again and again because of the quality that's went into it, because of the depth and thought and care that's gone into it. You'll just constantly be thinking, as I have been, of, oh man, I want to try this build next uh, and something else that you can try. Uh, again, this is on Kickstarter and is well on its way to funding already, uh, but we just wanted to share some of our thoughts and reactions. Again, don't forget to check out our written review at MeepleMountain.com, and be sure to swing by Kickstarter and give Syndicate a look. I think you're really going to like what you see. There's a lot of quality packed into this game. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's one that you will not want to miss. So again, we're wishing our friends at PDU Games uh, a lot of success with their Kickstarter of Syndicate, uh, and thank them for their partnership in this review. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Check out some of our other Meeple Mountain content. I promise you won't be disappointed. This is Tyler Williams, signing off.